it just makes no sense. So we'll have to give the guy a, guy a call, let him know what we found, and I don't think that we'll probably be proceeding with this and going any further with it. What do you reckon, Ash? It's your project. It's quite a big project. It's not, my, does it's not, it's not my pocket. It. It's coming out of those. Yeah, it's well, exactly. It's, it's, it's um, side. If I, I really don't think that... Um, he will be going forward with this because it just doesn't make any sense at all. No, there's just the issue is it's just rust everywhere. It's sort of every time I look at it again, I find another patch that's rusty on it. Yeah. But. Good afternoon everyone, it's a bit windy today so I'm trying to shield the microphone from the wind noise and a hailstone uh, storm had just came over, literally as I was going about to start doing the video so I had to wait until that was clear so um, how are you all doing, it's kind of another good week, um, right let's run through it because it's bloody freezing out here, excuse my French, so um, the black mark one that wasn't running right, still waiting to be collected, um, so hopefully that should be gone. Um, this one arrived on Saturday, I think. This green mark 2.5 came in for um, an under seal and a few other bits, but it's I think it's really bad underneath, so I don't think we're going ahead with that. Um, we had quite a few stories about that this week, things are a lot worse. That's wait to be collected again. Mark one, so this green mark one arrived, and this one's having both seals under seal. Uh, I think cam angle sensor, o-ring and cam cover gasket. Uh, silver Mark III, this arrived today actually, and this has an issue with the Bose audio sound system uh, going off and, fight and sounding like a machine gun, which I think it might be down to the speakers, or, or might be the speakers actually. Can we, yeah, I think it might be that. And oh, special guest as well. A lovely 30th anniversary. I really do like these cars. They're so nice. The Mark IV is just a nice car anyway, but the 30th anniversary, really nice. So this is in for a clear under seal, and I think we're fitting that on the front bumper. We've got to remove the front bumper, and I think it's a different grille. So lovely looking car. Really nice. So that's what's waiting to be done. Christ. Um, oh, uh, Mark, we had a Mark IV and another Mark IV as well. Uh, that came in for an underseal. Um, guy was going to have a black underseal, but I talked him into having the clear because it's just better, especially on a new car. It's, um, you can still see what's behind and stuff. So, hang on. Oh, it's going out. That's freezing out there. Whew, temperature's dropped. Right. Oh, God. Really cold. Yeah, I just missed a hailstone. I was about to go out and do it, and it just just started hailing. So there we go. Right, where should we go first? We we'll mix it up. Let's go and see Jim. I'm living dangerously. I'm going to come and see you first, Jim. So Jim is finishing off the Efridge red car. It seems like you've been on this for about five years, Jim. Yeah, you only get to do bit little bits and pieces at a time, don't you? So what what what's your task at the moment then? Uh, I'm just sorting the brakes out. Um, waiting on some bits of trim to finish the front end. Um, so that looks like a shiny new part you're fitting on there. Yeah, new power from this corner. Is it the other one? The other one's fine. Not doing it. Uh, yeah, the colour came off. Was, uh... Have you forgotten to put the disc on? Oh, you were just test fitting that, weren't you? Just well, to see if it was okay. I'll put all the bits on first and then fill the brakes, because on the one axis, the discs can slide off these. Yeah. So when I try and build the brakes, then put the caliper on, everything just falls to bits. And... Fair enough. Um, what else have you done today on it, or is this just it? Um, uh, this one, just sorted out the front indicators, polished oh. them all up, all the fog lights are rebuilt. 
So I think we're planning on um, hopefully the end of next week to have this car all buttoned up, put together, and then get some photos out on the website and then get a, a price worked out for it really because we just we just want it to be right as with everything that we you know attempt to do it all right so is that it then jim you've not got anything else to add to the conversation no sorry fair enough all right thanks a lot right. see you later What's happening over here? Hmm? Right, Roy. Why not? You doing your favourite thing? No. Oh. Electrics? Yeah. What are you metering for? Is this fog light? Yeah. But, but, I think I'll have to rewire it. The classic, the classic fog light not working. Yeah. Have you got Telltale? You got tell telltale light on the fog light switch. No, I've got power going to the switch, so I just go rip all and just rewire it. It's been sat for seven years, so I don't oh. know who done it. So I'll just do it my way. Make sure it works. But um, yeah. you're putting back together your black one, aren't you? Yeah, you might remember it's one from way before Christmas. Um, had a lot of work done to it. Ash, can you just turn that extractor off? Please. Um, so, so yeah, we're just... Back from the paint shop. Back from the paint shop, we're just rebuilding it, really. Um, I think I did... Did I do a video on this last week? I think I did. Not on it, but it was in the car park. But that bumper does... look really good on there. Yeah. So have you done this morning? You got all the bumper back in? No, the bumper was done yesterday. How was it? Yeah, I've done the... Side skirts, wasn't it? You were doing side, side skirts. Side skirts today, uh, rebuilding the doors. So this customer uh, did run out of money. So anyone that's looking at this lovely shiny painted wing and the door, everyone has a budget and his budget was massively stretched on this with more work. So you can only do what you had to do. I think at some point in the future he'll readdress it, but yeah. So side skirts and the door, they weren't painted. It's, it's, it's going to look night and day though compared to like how it did. It turned up. How it how it turned up. Do you know what I mean? And, you know. Yeah. Not much to talk about then on this, is it? Not really. Just pretty much off. Yeah. All right. Okay. I'll let you yeah. crack on then. Thanks. Ashley's got a lot to say though. You've got a lot to say now. Have a, cheers, Roy. I've got a lot to say. Yeah. Grab your torch. Hey, you might need your floodlight. Floodlight? Yeah. So what what are you doing with this Mariner blue one then, Ash? Not a lot. Come on. What are you doing? Nothing. What have I'm you fine. found? Oh well I found lots of rust. <laughs> that's what I was, that's where I was going with it. Not so oh, well, you should have been It's more, obvious. Been more I was trying I'm trying to line you up for the conversation. Oh, wow. So we have literally just before this video, and I was planning to do this video anyway. Um, this we got this MX-5 on the ramp, and it's very rusty. The car got dropped off at the weekend. It was going to have a full respray. The guy that owns it bought some. It's just you know he's he's had it for a, I think a couple of years. It's been sitting and it's been saving up to have this done, but unfortunately, it's just it's it's beyond an economical restoration really the, the welding is quite extensive that's going to be needed so where should we start front to back back to front up to you chris all right let's start the front so so we got it on the ramp and the first things we do we have our checks where we go and when we start the front it's the obvious one of going up the front bulkhead so as you can see Well, it's quite hard but you can see that so there is a patch that has been welded there up there there and I don't normally go on about well we used to but we don't anymore but the welding is has to be quite desired really so that's that so we've got some more sort of rust areas there and then then we come into another patch just there 
there it is there across and up and then round to another patch which if you just prodded there we're also using this video to sort of see what how badly it is in some areas so and then it comes round and down here can you just poke in that corner there Ash where it looks very uh, yeah where it looks flaky so that's definitely gone on the inside there isn't it that's going to be holes that's going to be seals all the way down and then floor rail we come in this side yeah there's just nothing there is there and I think if you poke You got your hammer, your little tap hammer. Someone broke it. Hey, is that just loose? That is that the underseal moving there, or? Let me get a bit bigger. Well, everyone's at home eagerly awaiting what's going to happen. The anticipation. Yeah. Is that under? Is that underseal? That's the, yeah, it's just the underseal. No, that's underseal and metal, isn't it? Oh, okay. Leave it, it like that. That's gone. All right. So yeah. It's like an onion. Layers. Is that? The thickness level of that. There's a bit here. Oh, that's just, yep. Yeah. Okay. So that's the driver's side front. It's looking pretty bad, and then it comes to the back there. But it's hard to tell because this underseal is so thick. What's. No. Okay, that's just. Is that just underseal? I'm just peeling back this metal plate. Okay, nice. we do need to sort of see how bad it is. I knew it was going to be bad. There's nothing just, in there. There's nothing in there, is there? It's all gone. Uh, I don't enjoy doing this. I mean, there's a part of it which is pleasurable and pitting, but at the end of the day, this is someone's car and they've got some bad news coming. But we do need to sort of ascertain to see how bad it is in some areas. It's just got all been picked up, unpicked, isn't it? What's that seal end plate like? That's got as well, isn't it? Yeah. Rear arch. What's happening up the top there? Yeah, that's all blown out. Yeah. Is that an extra hole there? Yeah. Come straight through the wishbone there. That's a rusty wishbone, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You can just see it's all inside there. It's just full of rust inside. That's got to be replaced. So when you start looking at it, it's like you know where where else is the uh, you're going to find other holes? Because I guarantee you there'd be another hole somewhere where you'd be able to find one in it's the just, wishbone. It's, it's had a lot of thick underseal put on it, which is just all. It's actually made, even though there's a lot of rust we've already found every time we look for one more, because it's hidden underneath all this thick undersill. Alright, what's the arch like on the passenger side? Pretty much the same. So we've got your hammer there, because that looks like there's more. My toy hammer. That. It's just cruddy surface for us. That was quite a big slab of undersill that was. Okay. So let's have a look inside this ceiling plate. Or it seems it's packed really thick panel still. I thought you were gonna say it was something else then actually. Either way that's shot pretty much. No, hang on. Not much.
much left of that. Can you shine the torch up in there? Let me see. Yeah, that's going to be gone. Cool. She's rusty, isn't she? She's rusty. I don't think I've ever seen one blow out where this is blown out like quite so bad as this. It's just, there's not really anything. I mean, if you started to cut it open, it's just all going to disappear. And then coming down. <laughs> Oddly, it looks, it's actually pretty good there, isn't it? <laughs> Like in the small, it blow, blows out. It blows out there, and it blows. We've successfully found a small section there's, of good metal. There's a, there's a bit there that's was not too bad. And again, coming around here, you have got all these patches. Is there a patch up there? Yeah, that's not right. Yeah. It's all covered with seam sealer and goop. Yeah, not good, eh? No, not good, eh? So, there's a lot of rust on that one. What are you going to do about that, Ash? Probably cry a little, I think. That's a lot of rust. So, you know, when is it, you know, every, there's some people that would say, you know, every, save every MX-5, but there is a, there is a point, and this, this, this is the limit. Because the, the work that's got to go into this to do it properly and not just patch it is, is the cost the cost of a semi-decent, just the welding works, is the cost of a semi-decent MX-5. You know, it's, it's going to be expensive. And then, you know, then you've got the respray and all the costs and everything on top. And it's just, it just makes no sense. So, we'll have to give the guy a, guy a call. Let him know what we found. And I don't think that we'll probably be proceeding with this and going any further with it. What do you reckon, Ash? It's your project. Quite a big project. It's not, if my, it does it's not, it's not my pocket. It. It's coming out of though, isn't it? Yeah, well, exactly. It's, it's, um, it if I, it's... I really don't think that um, he will be going forward with this because it just doesn't make any sense at all. No, there's just the issue is is just rust everywhere. It's sort of every time I look at it again, I find another patch that's rusty on it. Yeah, but... you know, we've always been about giving the right advice here and. Uh, whether it has always been advice which was detrimental to financially to us in terms of the customer um, of turning away work, you know, yeah, it has to be done. It's just this, you know, yes, I can re restore it and we, we could do it, but it just doesn't make sense. Right, that's enough poking for this afternoon between me and you. Yeah. I'm going to go and uh, do something over here. Right, so my ramp. Um, I am stripping this Black Mark 1 down, which is the one that Jim did an engine change on. So that's all done, that part of the process. So I am in the process now of trying to get these fog lights out. 240mm, it's nice and easy, please. Hey? Just unbolt them, they come off really easy. Do you want to do that while I'm having a bit of a film? This is your project. You said this is mine, so this is, this just... is all yours, Chris. You enjoy. <laughs> you enjoy that spot. So, yeah, start stripping it for paint. Um, that should be going to the paint shop probably Thursday morning. I have hit a bit of a stumbling block at the moment with these because I don't want to damage them, but they've all rusted behind here, and I can't get the nut out, so I've just got to decide what I've got to do there. So I'm not too sure. But yeah, that's all that I'm up to. Once I've done the bumper, um, it'll start doing... Uh, I've done the splash guards in the wings. I've done the interior on the doors, so it'll be rubbers around the windscreen, wing mirrors, roof mouldings, rear bumper lights, and a few other bits, and get Roy to... No, I won't get Roy to do it, actually. I'll probably get in the windscreen company to come down and remove the windscreen on this one. So that's it. That's all that's going on in the workshop at the moment. Um, the I, I didn't get anything done on this Le Mans last week other than remove doors, wings, cut, take this back and mark up where I'm going to cut. I had three days to work on that last week and that's all I managed to do. Don't ask me how that happened, but it just did. Right, okay. See you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, if you're new to this channel, hit the like button, subscribe, and tell your family, friends about us, whether it be serious or for a laugh. I don't know, who knows. 
See you in the next one. Bye-bye.